Your Highness. Yeah. Is that what you have to do now with the Lordship? No, do you, are people no, treating no. you differently? Do you get do you get a kind of different treatment? You get um... Um, what we got at the moment is people still calling me Sir Alan. So um, until we get back on the TV again and um, you hear some of the apprentices call me um, Lord Lord Alan Sugar. No, Lord Sugar. Lord is Sugar. Actually, so you yeah. don't say Lord Alan. No, no, you don't say Lord Alan. No. no, no. Sir Alan sounded great, didn't it? it Sir did. Alan. Yeah, Sir yeah, Alan. yeah. A lot of people still call me that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But Lord Alan, have you a climate? That's not Lord Alan. No. Lord Sugar. No, Lord Lord Sugar. <laughs> but you, Lord... Lord, you know, look, you know what? Just call me Alan. But right. Lord Sugar, <laughs> Lady Gaga, Lord Sugar. <laughs> we can put you together. Get you a hat. Don't you think? <laughs> But I can still call you Alan, is that okay? Absolutely. Fabulous, yes, thank you, yes, thank you, yes. Sir. Now, yeah. um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know much about the uh, House of Lords. Uh, what does the job involve there for you? I know it's a very high profile thing, but is there, is there pay involved? No. Uh, no is, are there well, any perks? Is there a canteen, well, a communal <laughs> shower, a bar? Is there uh, a lap dancing club attached <laughs> to the, for the ladies, the House no, of Ladies? No, no, it is, a fant- <laughs> it is a fantastic institution and. Um, uh, some people that are not, you know, um, uh, come from up, up, up the country somewhere that represent ordinary people that are members of the House of Lords. I consider myself an ordinary person yeah. from, you know, because I came from wherever I came from. Is it the Baron of Clapton? You're well, on? what happens is that actually I'm known as a Baron of, um, yeah, so it's Baron Sugar, uh, actually. But the point is, is that, you know, most of the Lords, for example, if there was a Lord Smith... One of the reasons that they have to have their town or their village where they came from is because there could be, of course, three or four Lord Smiths. So you need to differentiate between them. So you could be Lord Smith of Cardiff or Lord Smith of Liverpool, whatever. So I was Lord Sugar, but I was told by the fellow that does all the lording stuff that uh, there hasn't been a Lord Sugar ever before, so I didn't need to have a title. But I wanted to be... Lord Sugar of Clapton, because that's where I was um, born. You know? Well, when, it, when, when, when they come for me, I, I would like to be Lord Ross, if you have a word. Of, Lord Ross of... of Wolfenstone. Leightonstone. Leightonstone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is okay? yeah have, okay. what, have they mentioned? Is, is it happening? Is it on the card? <laughs> or, or, did I blow that, or did I blow that as well? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. no, no, no. Uh, OK, so, look, the election, uh, we've already said... Um, this show's been recorded on Wednesday because obviously this place is going to be filled. All the studios are taken. It's all going to be election fever here. Uh, and we're going out, oddly, the night after the election. Um, can I ask you, Prime Minister, <laughs> whether... <laughs> you see, you like the sound of that? No. <laughs> you liked it when I first said no, it? You no. Did. <laughs> no, oh, no, this is not for me. I haven't got the... No, first of all, I haven't got the patience. Secondly, I would be... I, I would definitely whack Paxman, you know, if he... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, there's no question about that. Um, that, so, that, might be a, I mean, that might be a popular platform to stand on, right? Well, no, 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 he's a nice enough fella, he's but smart. he would just wind me up and I would whack him up. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and I don't think that is the way you would go about no, it. No, that's this, not, is not, no this is not for me. Okay. And you know what? Uh, yeah, I know you know yourself and you know what you want to do, and that's, that's part of what's made you such a success. The Apprentice is back, kind of. It's not back... Uh, the full Apprentice isn't back just yet. This is a new Apprentice we have. Now, before we talk about this thing, this has been delayed because of the election. Is that why? That seems weird. What, what was the story there? What's going on there? <laughs> I can see you like talking about this. Now, this, this is really... Like, you know, this is that winds me up talking about this. Look, there's some bloke... Um, when, 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 it, when it was announced that I was going to go into the House of Lords and become a government advisor, not a minister or anything, yeah. nothing to do with that, there's some fellow from the Conservative Party, Jeremy Hunt. Um, <laughs> he, 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 he comes well, well from, played, he, sir. He, he, well pronounced. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> but, oh, no, from, from, my, from my he comes from a long line of hunts, I think. <laughs> yeah. um, he, he, he complained about the fact that I was on television in The Apprentice and correlated that together with me being a government advisor and said it shouldn't happen. So he kicked up a big fuss. So I've not been allowed to be on television while an election's been going on. Not that The Apprentice has got anything political in it. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I'm telling people not to buy too many bloody chickens. I mean, it's got nothing to do with (laughs) For for a task, yeah. Vote vote for this one and vote for that. Anyway... We're back on now. But it's a different show. It's called Junior Apprentice. It starts next week uh, on Wednesday night, uh, 9 o'clock, I think. Yeah, I think so. Is that right? Here on BBC One. Yeah. Okay. uh, now, I've seen just a few minutes of it. Well, already, 
it's blown me away. What a bunch of characters. And, uh, and it's amazing to think that these, these guys are all around 16. That's the same age you were when you yeah, started your yeah, business. Yeah, when yeah, you started 17, business. yeah. So in yeah. a way, it works beautifully. Yeah, fantastic, I'll tell you. It's going to inspire a load of people and a load of youngsters. And, uh, you know, because the young people these days get a bad name, you know. And this lot are going to bring confidence back into what's possible uh, in, in, in the country. And they're not all from... Um, good families and things like these are right from abroad. A abroad wine oh, absolutely, yeah. Did you have a sign on the door? No jeans, trainers, hoodies when they came in. Is that, <laughs> they, they're all very smartly turned out. I know. Well, they, they, yeah. They, I mean, we, we wanted to, we wanted to dress reasonably smart. Yeah, yeah it makes but, sense. Okay, have a look at this. Uh, I can't wait to see it already. It's mm. it really excites me. And if you're a family apprentice, I think you're going to feel the same way. Uh, and of course, the main series is coming back. We'll talk about that yeah. as well. But but here is uh, first sneak preview. I guess this is the first time this. You got it, man. This yeah. is uh, yeah. Junior Apprentice. Starts next Wednesday, BBC One. You won't want to miss it. Look at this. <laughs> already, I want to see what happens. Uh, and uh, I love. Don't you love to see? Uh, the enthusiasm, the confidence of youth at 16. I believe I once also said, woman love cheese. I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you as tough on the kids? I mean, I'm assuming you're not quite yeah. as tough, but uh, do, you, do you do the your fired thing with the kids well, as well? Well, you or? see, this was the challenge. Now, for many, many years, I've been doing, going, doing Q&As at school and all that stuff. I know, you, do, you, you talk yeah, to yeah, kids yeah. a lot, yeah. So I talk to kids a lot. Yeah. So, I, that, so if I say to myself, I know how to deal with them, if you understand what I mean. So... There's a kind of an element of, of understanding, not being too tough, but also a firmness, if you can understand what I mean. And I think I pulled it off, really. So well, I'm looking forward to seeing that. I had an idea that maybe you could come up with some new catchphrases. How yeah, about, booyah, beat it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Down street. Down street. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't yeah, know boy. Who? <laughs> now, um... <laughs> basta, basta move. Hey, uh... Uh, Jake, you got any suggestion? Uh, remember, this is uh, this will be Lord Allen talking to children, getting them rid of those young people saying you, you're not on the show anymore. What do you think he should say? New catchphrase instead of "You're fired." Let me think. Um, what what about um, "Get your sling bags moving, sister"? Because your ass is F I R E D. I can see that's good, Jake. I can see that working yeah. for him. Good. That's one. We, we, we are always open to ideas. Well, let me ask Adam. Adam, Mr. Lambert, uh, you got any thoughts for Lord Allen? Break it to him gently. Uh, um, Lord Sugar, he say no. I like the fact that he's become a southern black woman for the occasion as well. I admire that. Always, okay. always. God bless you, Adam. That's marvellous. OK, you, you feel free to disregard <laughs> any or all of yeah. these. Uh, no, oh, Lord Allen. yeah, the last one was enthralling, wasn't it? OK. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, now, listen, we've had Alan on a few times over the years, and there was a period when you, were, you weren't as in, in good shape as you are now, and I just thought, this is a, a guy getting older, you know, we all lose a bit when we get older, but it's because you had, uh, you had a hip thing going on, didn't you? You had some sort of... Groin, yeah. Yeah, and you groin. couldn't keep yourself in shape as much, and then, as soon as you, you got well enough, to, you were back on the exercise trail, you, you're a cyclist, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I was amazed. Now, there's a... Believe it, well, there you go. That's the picture right there. Yeah. <coughs> Looking great in uh, the lycra there. Who's, do you get sponsorship from Garmin, or that was just someone else's suit? <laughs> Um, That's the sat enough, people, isn't it? Funny enough, Garmin gave me that, yeah. OK. They gave me a I bet they couldn't believe you took it. So, um, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Alan, yeah. Lord Alan, Lord, your lordship, your highness. Yeah. How much do you, when, how far do you cycle up with um, you? 60 miles, so... In a one day, not in a week? <laughs> in one day? In, 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 um, yeah, in about three and a half hours, three so and a half hours. 30 there, 30 back. Yeah, but yeah. when you finish, when you get there, there you must be, oh, I've got to do it all again now. That must be our work. You go uphill on the way out and downhill on the way back? That's what I would do. Yeah, that, you do fine roads like yeah, that. Yeah. Yes, occasionally, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I've not been yeah. so far. Anyway, look, you're finished in July, aren't you? This well, gig? thanks for yeah, that. Yeah, I've yeah, got yeah. that. Yeah. 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 So, oh, he's going to offer me a job. No, Hang no, on. No, yes, no, 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 no. Yes, Lord, I'm, I can I'm, sell I'm things. Gonna, I'm going to give you... I've got a bike. I'm going to give you a bike. And you can come out with me. And Adrian Charles is also is coming out. <laughs> so, three, um, three slightly bitter men and yeah. the BBC. Uh, uh, and and, um, and you, you, can get, you can get rid of that. You can get rid of that. What do you mean all that? What do you well, mean all that? You'll get rid of that. I'll get this rid of that. This is tone. This is tone, yeah. my friend. Yeah, all right. This is tone. Okay. Anyway, I'll, I'll get you a bike and we'll, we'll go out for a ride. Well, I'll hold yeah. you to that. No, definitely. Yeah. Done. Could I ask you a favour, though? Yeah. Can you not get me the Garmin suit? Can I no. get <laughs> 
I've got a better one for you. Oh, yeah. God, yeah, I dread yeah. think. Hey, um, uh, before you go, uh, we've had you on many times. You're always a great guest. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 but we have a little thing here. You know, are you familiar? I know you've seen it. There's that thing on the internet, the kind of thing called a cassette boy. Yeah. And funny, he cuts yeah. together lots of stuff and he's made his own thing. Well, we thought we'd do our own tribute. We, we took some excerpts of you on the show here. Go on, then. And we thought we'd find out what you were really talking about. Okay. So this is our tribute to Cassette Boy. This is uh, from the many appearances that Lord Alan Sugar, back when he was just plain old sir, uh, has made on the show. I hope you enjoy this. What's in the future for Amstrad? It's a question a lot of people have asked me, Jonathan. There's one particular group of us. They'll make a range of Ricky Gervais animatronic robots and all that type of stuff. <laughs> Marmalade, high-definition tennis outfit. Young kids, blah, 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 blah. I enjoy all this, putting on the dark glasses and running out of restaurants and snorting cocaine. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Very good. Not a word of truth, that's so no, we constructed that. Uh, lovely to have you on the show. Uh, I'll, I'll miss doing this with you right here. Lord Alan Sugar, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. 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 Thank you.